Bimbrook is one of those cities that can give you a small town feel, access to the big city life, or give you the lake lifestyle that you've always wanted. Bimbrook is one of those cities that once you look at it, it's kind of hard to look away. So today we're going to look at Bimbrook's history, what it's like to live in Bimbrook, and we're also going to be looking at the affordability, the lifestyle, and real estate which is gonna allow us to compare Benbrook to other cities in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So if you've been thinking about moving to Benbrook or just wanna learn more about the city, this is the video for you because we're gonna cover everything you need to know about Benbrook, Texas. Benbrook is located on the southwest part of Fort Worth and Benbrook also counts on several major highways connecting it to the rest of the DFW. You have Interstate I-20 running east to west. You also have Interstate A-20, which ends up being a loop around Fort Worth. You have Texas Highway 377 running north to south, and you have Texas Highway 183 running through the northern part of the town. Now, I also want to make note of Chisholm Trail Parkway, which is very close to Benbrook, which will take you straight into downtown Fort Worth, which is what you'll use if you're trying to get to downtown Fort Worth to check out the stockyards. That's going to take you about 18 minutes. Now, if you're trying to get to downtown Dallas to check out the Dallas Zoo, you're looking at 50 minutes. And if you need to catch a flight at the DFW International Airport, you're looking at 35 minutes. Now, I share these travel times because if you're going to live in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, at one point or another, you're going to go to Fort Worth, you're going to go to Dallas, or you're going to catch a flight. But to give you a more local and day-to-day -day outlook of what the commute looks like around Benbrook, check out how far you can go away from the city in 30 minutes, which essentially means you can cover a good portion of the western part of the DFW. So now that we know where in the world Benbrook, Texas is, I want to welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, the go-to real estate channel for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. My name is Jaime Resendez, your local realtor and team leader able to help you make money in real estate whether you're buying or selling. And we're on a mission to reach every DFW resident, so if you can hit that like button, that's going to really help us out. Bimbrook is located in Tarrant County and has a rich history dating back to 1876. And for the first part of its history, it experienced moderate growth. It wasn't until the mid 1900s where the city began to rapidly take off, where now it's one of the fastest growing cities in Texas and has a population of 25,000. And it's one of the most popular destinations for both tourists and locals alike as it's known for its beautiful parks and lakes. So to add some more context on Bimbrook at this time, I want to introduce an external resource in Niche.com, which interprets millions of public data sets on cities all across the country. And as you can see, Bimbrook has received an A- grade from Niche having aggregated the 12 categories you see on the screen. Now that's what the algorithm says, but what do current and past Bimbrook residents have to say for the city? Well, based off of the 48 reviews so far, it has a 4.5 stars out of 5. So yes, Bimbrook is highly regarded not only from the third parties, but also from the current and past residents alike. Which now we get to talk about the recreation scene in Bimbrook. Bimbrook currently has over 1,000 total park acres and five developed parks, comprising approximately 125 acres. In addition, two undeveloped park areas are preserved in their natural state and may be developed in the future. Now, if you're looking for hiking and biking trails, you have a ton of miles to choose from. And if sports are more of your thing, check out the Dutch Branch Park, where you can go golfing, play a little bit of soccer, do some tennis, play some basketball, get on the softball field, get on the baseball field, and more. Oh, and by the way, you can do some horse riding as well. So yes, there is a ton of things to do when it comes to recreation in Bimbrook. All right, so now let's talk about one of the more important requirements for every homeowner and that's the school system. Because here's the thing, regardless if you have kids or not, it matters because you're paying property taxes on that school system and it also affects your resale value. Bimbrook is located in the Fort Worth Independent School District and is comprised of three elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. Now there's certain things that I, as a real estate agent, am not able to cover when it comes to the school system. So I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can check out the ISD a little bit further. But something that I am able to cover is the Chick-fil-A situation. Is there a Chick-fil-A in Bimbrook? And I'm happy to report that there is a Chick-fil-A in Bimbrook and one that I've been to quite a few times. All right, so you might not feel as strongly about Chick-fil-A as I do. So let's move on. Let's talk about some real estate. Because regardless if you're a renter or a homeowner, we need to have at least an understanding of what the real estate is doing in the city. Because whether we like it or not, real estate impacts our quality of life quite extensively. 
So let's start from a macro perspective. The typical home value of homes in Bimbrook is $330,639. Now this value is seasonally adjusted and only includes the middle price tier of homes. Embrace for the following, Bimbrook home prices have gone up 20% over the past year. Yes, you saw that right. And as you can see in the last 10 years, the home prices have gone up pretty systematically. But what's super interesting is that 20% rise over the last 12 months and what appears to be an inflection point over the last two months. All right, so now that we know that the median home value in Bimbrook is $337,000, let's compare it against its neighbors. To the north, you have White Settlement with a $245,000 median home value. Fort Worth has a $330,000 median home value. Edgecliff Village, $321,000. Crowley, $317,000 and Alito with the $523,000 median home value. So as you can see, Bimbrook is right in the middle of its neighbors. But let's take it one step further because the number $337,000 may not mean that much to you. I wanna show you the type of home that you can purchase in Bimbrook for that price. All right, so by the time that you're watching this video, chances are the homes that you just saw have already sold. So I'm gonna leave a link down below with our preferred Bimbrook homes. And it's also a good time for me to share with you how to calculate your monthly mortgage payment here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So I'm gonna link that video right here that shows you exactly how to do that. And that's mandatory watching if you're coming in from out of state because our property taxes are probably not the same as your property taxes. So I want you to be well informed because we have some of the highest property taxes in the country. But let's not forget, there is no state income tax in Texas, which leads us right into the next segment, which is the cost of living. Overall, the cost of living in Bimbrook is just shy of the national average. Now, if we look at the grocery category, it's 0.8% less expensive than the national average. From a housing perspective, it's about 12% less expensive in Bimbrook than the national average. From a utilities perspective, it's a little bit more expensive by 1.3%. And from a transportation perspective, it's 9.1% more expensive in Bimbrook than the national average. So at this point, you might be thinking, Jaime, Bimbrook is the city for me. And if that's you, awesome. I invite you to connect with our top realtors down below. But if you're still on the fence, that is okay too. I'm gonna to do something a little bit different this time. I typically give you two comparable cities, but in this case, I wanna give you one region, which is gonna be the Southern part of Fort Worth. I want you to check out that part of town because it has a lot of similarities to Benbrook. And I'm also gonna break another norm because I typically give you another DFW city but this time I'm gonna give you Alito, which is a little bit further away from the Metroplex. Now, since I'm breaking all the rules today, I'm gonna to let you in on a little secret. I wanna share with you the city that has a 0% property tax rate. That city's right between... <laughs> 